What's happening, folks? It's Marshall. Broadcasting on a Sunday night, Monday morning, whatever you want to call it. It's like it's midnight here, so it's 12.30 in the morning. Mountain time. I'm broadcasting from Denver. So yeah, um, let me uh, let me show you what I got going on here. So this over here, this is my track Talk to My TV. This is playing on uh, a Dell Inspire on laptop. This is an entry level laptop, which cost me about 800 bucks. And um, this thing, this thing runs like a champ now. The CPUs run a little hotter than normal because I have some uh, screen capture software going and um, I'll do a performance test on this. You guys kind of kind of compare the CPU here in a second. But uh, value per dollar, like cost cost of performance per dollar in this machine is is well worth it uh, for music production. Again, this is a Dell 15. Inspiron 7000 series. This is one of the gaming laptops. And it's pretty dope. So I'll kill it there. Now, right now, I'm not even utilizing an audio interface. This is 100% coming off of the built-in uh, sound card in the machine. And there's some Wave software on here, which, I don't know, I haven't looked at that yet, but it doesn't really matter because in my mobile setup, this will be... Um, hooked up to a, a, a Focusrite uh, audio interface, so um, which will give even better performance. So, also, I'm coming in only via mono into my mixing board for the broadcast here. But uh, this thing is—I'm super impressed. Um, I used to use, and I have a bunch of shit in my hands, so hold on here. I've been using Surface Pro three tablets for my mobile rig. For a long time, these are these are fantastic machines. Um, but when I, you know, these are a couple years old now, and um, these work. I can make these work. And actually, I did a show on Memorial Day, uh, just a, a little local show um, with some family and friends and stuff, and it wasn't a big deal. But it was a good opportunity for me to take and test out my current uh, mobile rig in a live situation. A uh, couple things I I wanted to address one is these things aren't cut into mustard uh i have to do a lot of dumbing down of my tracks in ableton to get them to play on here now i know some people be like why don't you just uh you know play the audio file in ableton just directly you know the full audio file uh as it's come out so like uh, the wave file or the mp3 and the reason is because I'm not a dipshit and I don't want to DJ um, tracks that way. If I wanted to do that, I would get a DJ set up, like a real one. But uh, the way I'm set up to do this, and I have a, a link, I'll, I'll put a link or a card or something in this video. I just did a video about my mobile rig and how I have it set up is I have two of these and two push controllers uh, and each each Surface tablet is running its own instance of Ableton Live and using the link protocol from Ableton. These sync each other up tempo-wise, and I have a, a you know a Newmark DJ style mixer. I can mix between these and do fades. But the cool thing is, is because these are my original project files uh, and the way I do these these songs in terms of you know the clip the clips etc. in Ableton. Uh, I can essentially remix my own tracks in real time. There's there's more of a performance aspect to it than just playing a wave file on here. So anyway, th there's a lot of dumbing down that has to be done though to get them to work on these tablets. And part of that is um, with the additional plugins that I've started to utilize in the last year or two. Um, yeah, this, this thing just has a hard time, especially you start throwing some ozone on the end of some limiting, et cetera. A lot of times I would just turn that off, but even now with with some of the songs that I have, they're so complicated and have so much stuff going on that uh, this thing just can't handle it. So I'd have to end up freezing entire uh, tracks, including the effects chains, which I don't like to do that because I want the effects to carry through um, for the live performance. So 
that when you do that, when you just freeze or flatten tracks with all your effects chains, you lose some of the dynamics. Uh, unless you're going to play the whole thing in order, which I can do. But, I mean, the whole point of this is to be able to have some freedom to do some cool stuff. So these uh, are a little out of date. And Microsoft obviously has it. Has a, they have the Surface Pro 4 and the Surface, the new Surface is what they're calling it, the new Surface. But it's a Surface 5, Surface Pro 5. The performance increase versus this, it's, it's marginal. I mean, it's not a humongous amount and for the cost though the big thing is the cost i can't justify spending fifteen hundred dollars on surface tablets again um so i started looking into laptops and la lapt to replace the surface tablets to get a little bit better performance and dell has these inspire on uh 7000 series gaming laptops and i'll show this to you now I, the other thing is guys so what I do, I, I basically transport, let me see if I can hold this up. This is my <laughs> my uh, USB dongle with my keys on it, the iLock, and I have uh, an external hard drive, and this is the same hard drive that I run all my samples off of on my main machine. Make sure you guys don't pirate shit. I'm just saying, people work hard on these software, I would recommend don't be a dick and pirate, especially if you can afford it. If, you, if you're one of those assholes that makes money and still pirates shit, you're a dick, and I don't like you, and I think that you should be ashamed of yourself. So especially if you can afford it, pay for the software. Anyway, so let me see if I can show you guys this laptop here without dropping anything. Oh, because this is just sitting on my lap. So there's the back, uh, and here is the front. If I can flip it around. Yeah, so it's, it's you know, got that stupid red lighting on the keyboard, whatever. At least it's backlit. Uh, the screen is an NT, or I think it's a, I think they call it NT or TN panel, one of the two. I guess the uh, the one, the, they have one of these that's a little higher end. It's an extra hundred bucks, and you get a higher end uh, IPS panel. And um, the, the GeForce graphics card in here is a little bit better. It's a 1050i. Versus this has just the 1050. But for me, I'm not concerned about the graphics or the screen. What I care about is the CPU in this thing. This is running the seventh generation Core i5 uh, KB Lake processor. And it is almost as fast as my desktop i7. And we'll do a performance test to kind of show that. Now it's, it's probably still about a third slower, I guess, than my, my main production desktop. But uh, it's... It's definitely a lot better than the Surface tablet. The Surface tablet was less than 50%. So what that means is that there's less work for me to take a track, like we were just listening to Talk to My TV, which is my track. This is the actual audio file, that I, or this is the actual Ableton project file that you hear, like if you were to go buy that track, on iTunes or whatever, listen to it on uh, Spotify, hint, hint, go check it out. Um, it, that's what you're hearing here. So it's the exact same file. So this is with no changes to any of the um, any of the processing. So if we come over here and we check, for example, one of the things I always do is on my uh, mastering chain, on the master here, I would always have to dumb down, say, the uh, uh, the limiter from IRC4 to, like, IRC1 or turn off the limiting altogether. This is not the case here, and this is even with extra shit running in the background. So that's pretty dope. So let's, uh, let's take a look at something here real quick. So I want to... Uh, this is the performance test. We're going to use the Passmark um, performance bench test. Uh, or performance test uh, here in a minute, but uh, and I have all my plugins installed on here finally. Um, so if we go here, um, so yeah, so we're running the i5 7300HQ processor. Okay, so let's go and let's go to this machine. <clears throat> 